we know you have only 120 days for your GCSE. You have a feeling that means you don't know where to start for your revision. Year 9 topics. Or you have no idea what topics need to revise for your max revision. Don't worry. We are sharing our A star revision tips with you. Last year, 100% of our students scored A. Of them, 80% of them scored A star. So by end of this video, you will have a clear idea how to prepare yourself to score A star in GCSE Maths. For some of you, Maths is your least favorite subject. But together with our guided advice and support, you can turn the negative to positive attitude to change. Maths is one of your favorite in GCSE. Here is our 9 tips to score level 9 in your GCSE Maths. Tip number 1. Prepare a revision timetable. Some of you may already have done this, but the idea is to self-discipline yourself to have a change in your daily routine. You may one of them who play Fortnite for 5 hours a day and 1 hour study time or less than that but changing that routine to 4 hours of revision and 30 minutes of Fortnite will help you a lot. We won't be asking completely stop playing. Playing a little bit of time to refresh yourself, it's absolutely fine. You will get to know the day you open the brown envelope on the results day and all this little sacrifice you did in the past. Reducing the gaming time, practicing past papers, flashcards and etc. Help you to realize it's very well worth it. So, all what you want to do is list your weekly routine one by one and prepare a schedule for a revision timetable. Prepare your own version. Don't copy others. This is the starting point. Tip number two. Understand each topic. What we mean by this is, for GCSE Maths, you have nearly 90 subtopics, which you want to understand clearly, this covers level 1 to 9. As you are aware that according to the new specification, there are two calculator papers and one non-calculator paper, nearly covering almost every single subtopics. So you need to know the methods for each topics. I hope you have seen a lot of people provide their tips and advice in the social media, but no one show you the, how they studied and what method they have used. We are working on a project called Topic Revisions for GCSC Maths, which we are going to share hundreds of video explanations for each topic together with exam style questions. There are many students couldn't afford for private tutoring, so we are sharing the topic revision videos for absolutely free through YouTube. So if you feel the upcoming videos are useful for you or for your friends or those who really need help in maths, please share this video with them and ask them to subscribe to our channel to see all the videos. We would appreciate if you could write the comment section with your thoughts. So for the tip number two, we will help you to understand and learn the each topics in the next 100 days. Tip number three show your working there are lots of method marks available on your exam you can get this by writing your answer clearly and showing all of your working you can get method marks even if you don't get the correct answer when a question says you must show your working then you won't get any marks if you just write the answer tip number four flashcards and short notes Flashcards are a great way to revise the topics within a short period of time. Our great advice is prepare your flashcards and short notes on your own. Once you complete a topic, summarize the formulas used, equations or any other methods used in that topic in a simple short note format with your own handwriting. Please do not copy others' flashcards. When we complete our videos for each topic, we will prepare a sample flashcards for each topic in PDF format for you. Tip number 5. Practice with past papers. Once you have complete one section of a maths topic, you can practice the past paper style questions on that section. 
in this you can check yourself whether the content you have revised is more than enough or not if not you can practice that specific section again at least practice the last five papers before your actual exam tip number six identify your weakness you may have few topics which are a little bit challenging for you but don't hate maths only because of that few topics first identify the topics you need more work on it could be anything it could be algebraic fractions 3d trigonometry inequalities shading regions etc then try to go through one by one and practice to get you better we hope the upcoming videos will help you to understand the topics much better tip number 7 practice with regular works why do you make revision notes so that you can use them to revise i learn i revise i revise again so i know it better if any of the topics are challenging for you start to revise the topics again and practice the questions sure practice make you perfect tip number 8 learn the exam techniques our first piece of advice is take your time you may need to choose what questions you are going to choose to spend the most time on the order is not important you can do it in any order but if you come across any difficult questions oh my god how do i do this don't worry skip it and come back to it nothing is worse than to realize that you couldn't answer some of the easy questions because you spend a lot of time on a difficult question please show all your working and if the question is only for one mark please write the direct answer don't write any paragraph write down clearly all the formulas chain rules quadratic formulas set theories used in the questions in this way you will get the method marks even if your answer is wrong If it is a reasoning questions with lots of information read the question read the question again and circle all the key points write out all the key points at the top of the answer space look at what i have in front of me and work out exactly what i have to do to work out the answer write out your answer clearly line by line tip number 9 realize maths is enjoyable Try to enjoy maths throughout your GCSE journey. Don't stress out to revise the topics. Break it down to smaller section and learn it properly. This is the end of the video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel below to see all the upcoming topic revision videos. If you feel the topic revision videos are useful for your best mates, please feel free to share the link to them. Finally, if you have any questions or topics in your mind you need some help, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you.